Hey everybody, I'm JXSonic298, and I'll be showing you how to lip sync in Windows Movie Maker. See, the process is actually really easy. It looks good, not as good as Team 4 Star Little Karibos would, but it gets the job done. So, I'll first show you what this looks like. Oh no, you didn't! What we're going to do is try to mimic that, except it may not be the same exact character. So I'm going to start by deleting these. Get your footage that you want to use. I'm just going to use our episode 6 from Team Ninja Stars Naruto Shippuden Abridged. Just because I'm lazy like that. So, we're going to start with taking Lee, for example. You want to zoom in and find character's mouth movements. We're going to take an image of Lee. I'm just going to call it L1 stands for Lee 1. You're going to try to find his mouth partially, or partially opened about right there. I'm going to call it L2. And then fully open. There. Calling it L3. Now you should have all three of them right there. Closed, half open, open. So for this tutorial I'm just going to delete this because this will just get in the way. When you're actually editing an episode you might want to keep that around just so that you have more pictures to look at. We're going to start by putting Lee's closed mouth image right here. Then you're going to want to take it to about right before it starts talking. If you can see down here, you're going to want to start by splitting it there and putting the half open up front. Be very careful and make sure you're all the way zoomed in, otherwise this won't work. You're going to want to make it very tiny, a very thin line, and split it again. Now, you're going to hear these lines over and over and over, but, you know, it's worth it. So here, you know, he's going to say, oh, in this particular part. What we're going to want is for Lee's mouth to open and close as Apag's did. Hi, Apag, if you're watching this. So I'm going to do it at about here, which gives the mouth some room to close like this. Make sure you delete these, and then Lee should say, Oh no, you didn't! Like that. But what you're going to want to do, since it doesn't look too great right now, that takes work. I accidentally split that. So with this closed, you're going to want to take another thin line, split it, half open, But you, if you can see, when it's at its peak, that's usually when you're going to want the full open. And when it's coming down or going up into the peak, you're going to want the half open. That's usually the way it works, but you have to be your own judge of character. I can't teach you how to do that. Because these can sometimes get a bit confusing. Like, I don't know if I want it there or to go a little bit. Actually, I think that's pretty good. Right there. Get your half open again, split it. Pretty much repeat this process until you get what you want. Such as this. Now the didn't is going to be the tricky part. We're going to want his mouth closed, but uh-oh. The D took up the space where the half open would be. However, that's not a problem. You just take the full open mouth, put it over, take your half open, put it there, delete your L2 and L3 files, make sure you have the mouth closed again, do half open, 
fully open. Half open again. And closed. Then drag this to the end. Then our final result should look like... Oh no, you didn't! There. That's how you lip sync in Windows Movie Maker. And if you ever hear the term save and save often, that is definitely a wise move to do here. Because I can't tell you how many times Windows Movie Maker gone and stopped the project, made me start all over again. It's frustrating, but... If you don't want to go and spend $500 or something on Sony Vegas or Adobe, this is a good way to go. It's free, it's basic, it's easy. I'm JXonic298, and I'm signing off. Good luck, guys.